guys, Merman here, and I am going to do a tutorial on how to download Minecraft for all you guys out there who uh, have your account, or even don't have your account, but they uh, someone else's account, or whatever. So, uh, I'm on my Minecraft account, uh, but Merman's a kid, uh, and what you're going to want to do is you want to go to download it now. And depending on what you have, if you have Mac or if you have uh, Windows, just like me, you want to go, uh, if you have a Mac, to show all platforms, and you want to go to the Minecraft Jar, not the Minecraft DMG. And for Windows, you're going to want to go to Minecraft EXE, and for a server, you want to go to probably the server dot server EXE, one point seven point server for Windows. I think for Mac, I think you go for the jar. And uh, this is uh, for older versions with the uh, uh, 1.5.2 or earlier. It will not work for uh, the launcher. So anyways, here we go. You want to go to download Minecraft. Click on it for Windows. You click on the Minecraft.exe. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, if it won't let me do it, I'll explain it in there. And that's it. But what you would do after that is you would go and, <coughs> I mean, if you have Windows 8, you probably want to go up here and go to search, and then type in Minecraft, and you'll have the, the shortcut, and what I do is I go and I find uh, file location, I minimize this, once it's installed, you do this, you have Windows 8, and then you'd, it would automatically go there. And I believe if this loads right onto my desktop, it should pull up just like that. It is copying. Okay, well, technically, I believe it's the same exact one. But I'm going to delete it because I already have one. Uh, it's the new one. And that is how you would uh, download it for uh, this. Now, I don't know what it... Okay, so it downloaded. Um, so, I'm going to show... I'm going to go to all downloads exit out of that and it's gonna bring up uh that's, i had a texture back there uh i'm gonna show the it's that exe so you go to the show info okay no i was wrong sorry you go in there type in minecraft and when it's downloaded i don't think it was downloaded so just don't worry about that you go you it will take you to minecraft if you have you know, windows to take you to minecraft you show all to show your downloads you show file location uh i i know what's with like this with windows 8 but i'm not exactly so sure about any other one because i don't have windows 8 i think i have windows 7 but i can't remember yeah i do on my uh, monitor here so and once you get that you take it and drag it onto your desktop or i guess your uh taskbar but i'm not gonna have it on my text bar text bar taskbar all right because I already have it right here. And uh, once you uh, get it downloaded, you will just start it up and uh, run it. And that is how you would download the Minecraft for Windows. And I'm obviously, I'm not gonna download it on Mac because I don't have a Mac right now. Uh, so I have no need to download it from Mac. Uh, I won't be doing any tutorials for Mac until I get a Mac, because my closest Mac would be at, uh, the school, and I'm not thinking they'd let me do that. I have it on a Mac, but I wouldn't, so I wouldn't want to do that for school, really. So, uh, yeah, that's how you would de kind of definitely install Minecraft. And, uh, since I'm sure this video, since my, some shady is like four minutes long, I was just playing quite again. Uh, <clears throat> since that was about four minutes long, I might even show how to install the server. Now, I'm obviously not going to install the server because I already have my server info right here. <coughs> so, I, I don't want to install it because that's just extra stuff on here. So, well, what you want to do, I mean, okay, go to download, just like if you want to download the game, and for uh, future launchers that come out, you'd want to go to the, if you have Windows, Minecraft, E, 
minecraft.exe for Windows for future launchers to install that, I believe. Uh, yeah, and then for the Mac, you want to do the jar. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, you want to go for the jar for uh, Mac to get the new launcher. And for the server, you just go on here and click on Minecraft server that some that 1.7.2 exe. Since I have Windows 8, it'll show up my downloads. I would show the file location, and I would probably bring it. Probably if I make a new folder, uh, so I'm gonna make a new folder and call it uh, server info. Once you have that, you would take it, double click it, and then you take. Uh, where the EXE is, which would be in your downloads uh, section of your uh, list where everything's downloaded. Take it, drag it in here, and it'll bring a whole bunch of new stuff, and then uh, you can click it and run it. And I think I can my title screen. I might even actually have it still in here. Yeah, right here. You double click it and run it, and this is 1.6.2, it's not 1.6.2, not, not 1.7.2, so, actually that'd be a good idea, you know what, okay, so, speaking of what one that is, and if you want to stop your server, you go to S, SQP stop and it will after it prepares spawn area it'll save chunks and everything and do not click the X after it's saving chunks. That is not a good thing. I do not advise you to do it. That'll ruin it. Wait for it to load and wait for it to fully save and <clears throat> there'll be errors and just wait. And it should go away. Okay. Unless it doesn't respond, you should not click the X. But I don't know why Maya's not doing that. Okay, I may just have to click the X because I don't run my server anymore. I don't have a need to have this, so see. Okay, so I can just click the X because I don't have my server anymore. I did, uh, but I don't have it anymore, and this obviously is not going to go away. So I might as well just take it off. <clears throat> so uh, for 1.7.2.exe, click on it since I want to update my server. Uh, since I have easy bit in the way, I see it. So I went to uh, downloads. Now I'm going to that to download. Well, I do that. Okay, that's gone. Now <clears throat> I don't know. It'd be nice left in the comments. What is going on with this? Because I will take this and I will delete it. And when I delete stuff that goes to recycle bin, I will delete it. Okay, that actually worked. All right. Well, I mean, you can rename your server. For, you can rename your folder for your server anything you want. But I'm just gonna name it uh, Butterman Server Info. Butterman does my Butterman does Minecraft Server. Alright, so since it's downloaded, I'm gonna show in my folder where it is. And I'm gonna minimize this, pull this over here. This may be a complicated way. Other people have different ways of doing it, but I have this way, and I like this way. It's a good way to do it. And I'm gonna pull this up. No, it's already up. Alright, double click this. And here is the server. Here's the server right here. And you want to click it, you want to click it, and you want to drag it right in there. And then if I'm correct, yep, there it is. You're going to want to double click it. I'm just going to exit out of this. Now, I don't know what that is. I don't... It's... Whoa. I don't know what that is. That concerns me widely. Whoa, I changed the solar? Uh, it might have been something else. I don't know. I think I might have double clicked on something. 
Just don't worry about that. This is not good. This must be the iTunes installer. I already have iTunes right there. So. Okay, so. Off that topic. You want to double click it once it's in your. Whoa. Okay, I don't know if this will pop up, but if it does, you'd want to push on more info. And you can have a choice of run away or don't run. Do run anyway. Alright, it'll load it. It should load it. It'll load a whole bunch of this stuff. I mean, it's not going to load my skin or my channel art or, you know, my skin there. It's going to load a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't know if I should do this, but I'm going to... I don't exactly know with the new ones if, if, like, each new server update, like, the Minecraft server 1.7.2. I mean, this is for your server. This is what you would update your server on. So if you have one like Beijing Canadian or Sky or Deadbox, you would want to delete, I believe, if I'm correct, delete the earliest, the, delete that one. Like since I had 1.7.2, I believe. I want to delete that one and install 1.7.2. And then run it. So that the server I have, say I'm Sky, then the server that Sky has would be updated once you deleted the 1.6.4, whatever he had. But I don't, I believe I have Sky. So, in order for servers to be updated, you have to delete the one you had and then uh, download it with the current one. Now, I don't know about this one if there are any, if, it, if, there's, if the server has any uh, launches, but I know that the Minecraft launcher itself was launched in the Minecraft besides the server. You just to get new launchers. I believe it was first the newest one launcher was I think the 1st of July maybe the 20th like I can't I think it was 1st of July I think I can't exactly remember sometime in July 1st 20th whatever and then you want to wait for this to load and then it'll all load and it should bring stuff up in there and then you have made your server and there are there are all kinds of ways to make it I had so I don't know why this is not Okay, since this is not working right, I don't know what this is, so... <coughs> so, I'm gonna log on my computer while this is not even doing anything. It's like this stupid easy, but sometimes, sometimes it's just there and doesn't respond for like 10 days. And like that squid killer at 4445. <coughs> wow. This is Minecraft. It would just sit there, and I couldn't even do anything because I had to link it if I already had some. I didn't know how to link it because it didn't give me any hints on how to link it. And I couldn't even exit out of it. <coughs> so, <coughs> that's, so that, that's how you install that. And the newest update of Minecraft. Oh, and make sure you like Minecraft. It's awesome. The newest update of Minecraft includes, uh, like I covered in one of them, the. Uh, 1.7 uh, info, which is what all this is. I only did the items and maybe a biome up to. So, I didn't do all the things they came up with because, you know, there's lots of them. But if you're on multiplayer, I know this, that's uh, the multiplayer server right next to it. If so, if you have the cops and robbers on multiplayer, I have a picture of a cop. I know that. So it's really neat. <clears throat> they removed Hero Brian like all the time, and they actually removed a rose flower. So, so it's, it's pretty neat. I I like it. And what I like now is that you know portals to the Nether can be have different shapes. That's pretty neat. And uh, this too. That's neat too. You can uh, summon fish, packed ice, flowers, all, all this, which is pretty neat. <coughs> Myself, I think that's pretty neat. So anyways guys, make sure you uh, subscribe, like this video, and like always, comment on stuff that uh, you think I should be able to do better. 
uh, stuff on all that stuff, and uh, please just comment, uh, subscribe buttons, and videos lag, I don't really have control of that, so, um, until then, I'll see you guys, and here's my question, here's my question, here's my question, Yes, will he stand up? So that is my question. Will the, please, will the real Slim Shady stand up? I don't know. Anyways, make sure you all, uh, yeah, right here, uh, 1.7 info, and then there's just info, it's info video, just, yeah. That was on my, uh, oh man. Squid Killer 445 does Minecraft. That is gone. That is like terminated. So I'm gonna start doing, uh, Killer 445 videos on my uh, Butterman, which is what I believe this is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then there's that, and Toll Toll means Toll in German, like, you know, or like that. So, anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Like I said, like, subscribe, and definitely uh, hit that like button. Or I took that thing. Alright, anyways, um, yeah, leave comments on what I could do better. That will help me as a YouTuber, and. <coughs> It'll help me become better with you guys, and it'll help me make you guys.